Look at her, Richard. Look at how magnificent she is. The most deadly hunter ever created. The most deadly dinosaur ever created. And I did it because I'm a mad scientist. You're mad. You are mad. How can you play God by creating a dinosaur? How, however, did you do this? Well, I just let her listen to this Pod Bros exclusive. What's up, everybody? I'm Richard. And I am the one called Sean. <laughs> okay, we're speaking the language of bromance. New rule. Uh, we need to institute a moratorium on booze for you. I'm not, I'm not drinking anything tonight. Okay, I'm drinking. I'm sorry. Yeah, there we go. I have a problem. You just lied to people on the <laughs> internet. Yeah, that's never happened before. No, not once. <laughs> so uh, I, I was going to ask you, Richard, what's the what's the best thing you've ever won in life? Like, if you can think of, you know, maybe a, a Halloween costume when you're a kid, or maybe a nice lotto ticket you want 150 bucks. What's what's the one thing you remember winning? That you know kind of stands out in your and, and I, I I'll tell you what I can give you I can give you this in recent memory okay this was probably I think this is two thousand this is four years ago this is this is probably my greatest achievement and I know that's sad but this is my greatest <laughs> achievement okay so about four years ago on Halloween uh this bar that I went to always did a uh, a contest. Like a karaoke kind of contest. Yeah, so yeah. you wear a costume and you sing a song and you try and make try and make sure that your that your song kind of relates to your costume. And so based on the two things, then people judges in the crowd who remain nameless, you know, you don't know who they are. They're just they're just kind of peppered throughout the crowd. But these judges will rate you and then whoever you know, sings the best, has the best costume, combination of both, wins. And I think the prize was like $200. Oh, okay. And I won. Nice. So what was the costume? Uh, Do- Dr. Frankenfurter. Oh, Dr. Frankenfurter. So did you wear the whole outfit? I had, okay, so here we go. <laughs> this is the outfit I had. I had on, we'll start off with the fishnet shirt, okay? So. That was underneath the leather corset. Yeah, and I still think you need to give that back to me. I thought you said you were only going to use it for that one night. Well, you know <laughs> what? My nights are pretty busy, sir. <laughs> I found some extra work with that, with that corset. <laughs> so I had on this leather corset, so the fishnet shirt with the leather corset. Uh, I coupled that with, a, uh, with fishnet stockings, followed by thigh-high Black latex boots. Okay. Do I want to ask where you got these? Uh, I found a store. <laughs> I found a store in my hometown. How about that? Nice. Did you rent these or did you buy them? I bought them. Okay. So you still I have still them? Have them. When's the yes, last time I do. You, when's the last time you wore them? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm wearing them right now. When was the last time I've been drinking? <laughs> Sometimes I like to drink a lot and then put on girl clothes. <laughs> Sometimes Richard wants to feel sexy. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm so pretty. <laughs> so so I had these thigh high latex boots. Um, there was a four inch platform heel. Oh goodness. Which I'm saying, okay, if we have any women that listen in the audience, when it comes to wearing heels, I, I feel like I understand your pain a little bit. Because I wore those and the next day, my oh god, my toes were on fire. Well, yeah, because you're. On, I've seen how those work. You're basically standing on your toes all night. Yeah, gravity. Gravity's a, a fickle, cruel bitch. You know who invented heels, Richard? Who? Satan. That's Satan. Satan. Who? Satan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so four inch heels, fishnet stockings, and that. Uh, I finished that off with a black mini skirt and <laughs> black ruffled frilly panties. 
Uh, I, I like to imagine, like, you know, drunk Richard at the end of the night, you break a heel, and you're just sitting on the corner crying. <laughs> <laughs> and, and some some guy walks up. He's like, what's wrong, sweetheart? Do you need a ride home? I broke my heels. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you're good enough. You're you're such a nice guy. I just never meet any nice guys. I had a nice guy once named Sean, but then he left me. <laughs> but yes, I wore that costume. I sang the song Sweet Transvestite from the Rocky Horror Picture Show and nailed it. How's that one go? Uh, I'm uh, so come up to the lab. Wow. And see what's on the slab. I see you shiver with anticipation. <laughs> wow. So what kind of bar was this, Richard? Uh, Not the kind of bar that you're thinking of. It was just a run-of-the-mill bar. Oh, okay. And I'll tell you what. Afterwards, went out dancing. Like, after we left the bar, we went out to, like, a late-night spot. <laughs> and you didn't have to pay for one drink. <laughs> you know what? I I had more like propositions than any other time. So I think it's weird that girls dig guys that wear girls clothes. Uh, I figured it'd be like full spectrum. Like you had dudes and chicks being like, Hey, what are you doing later tonight? You know, that's never happened. And I'm, I, I gotta say, I'm a little salty about that. Wait, you didn't get hit on by any dudes in that. No, outfit? huh? No that's surprising. And I'm tad bit upset. <laughs> I didn't even have a beard. Then I was, I was sans facial hair. <laughs> Why are you hitting on me, gay guy? It's like, I'm not gay. Leave me alone. Don't you like my Halloween outfit? It's, <laughs> it's October 12th. It's not Halloween yet. I'm just preparing. Don't you think I look pretty? My, uh, my wife did my makeup. Nice. I looked gorgeous. So uh, so did your wife, uh, did she have a little nice rendezvous with Mr. Frankenfurter? <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> I don't put my personal business on the internet, Sean. <laughs> so that's a no. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, anyway, what I what I kicked this off with. So so you won. You went out. You dressed real nice. You dressed pretty. You sang a good song, and you won two hundred dollars. That was the high. You know, that's the highest. Yeah. You know, award achievement you've you've had. You know, can you, can you please stop saying that? Because when you say it like that, then it sounds really, really bad. Well, I'm just saying. Like, this is the high point of my <laughs> life. That time I dressed like a woman. <laughs> kids, kids, look. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an award. It's a high achievement. Oh, the pictures are on Facebook. <laughs> that looks sexy. And porn tube. <laughs> 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 Sad transvestite on the side of the road with a broken heel. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Sean? Where's Sean? That might have come up once or twice. <laughs> Where were you? Uh, <laughs> I just imagine. try and call a guy at three a.m. <laughs> what do you get? Uh, I just imagine you're going home trying to get some for your wife. She's like, I'm. Babe, I just don't feel good. I'm tired. My stomach hurt. Well, Sean would fuck me. <laughs> it's like, too far, Richard. Too far. Sorry. Whoa, whoa. You know that line you're not supposed to cross? Yeah, look behind <laughs> you. It's way, way back there. Uh, but so there is a, a Russian teenager. Oh, I, I, I already don't like where this is going. Yeah. He has probably won one of the greatest prizes of all time. I mean, when you were 16, like, there's a lot of cool things you could think of that, you know, if you would have won, would have been awesome. You know, maybe a brand new sports car, maybe, like, season passes to your favorite, you know, sports team. Yeah. Um, this guy, Richard, or, you know, like, a lifetime supply of video games. Like, that would be an awesome, you know. That would be. That would be. But no, no, no. This 16-year-old from Russia has won... Something bigger, something, you know, you know, he's at the peak of his, you know, pubescent, you know, overload. You know, he's got, you know, he loves ladies, right? Hormones you know, he, are raging. Yeah. So this kid, he is the 100,000th visitor to a game website. And what he won, Richard, was not just a night, not a couple nights, not a week, not two weeks. He won a month 
in a hotel with porn star Ektrina Makova. This kid, sir, at 16 years old. Wait a minute. He's 16? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's the, I guess that's the legal age of consent too in Russia is 16. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. Cause like you can drink in Europe at 18. Or, or most, late. most of Europe. I think you can drink at 18. But yeah, so he visited this website and he's like, oh, you know, and he's quoted as saying, he's like, I didn't believe it at first. I thought it was rubbish. And he says, but when it turned out to be true, I thanked the website. I was so happy. <laughs> I saw her and I liked everything. Yeah. <laughs> Like, imagine that. Imagine you. Imagine 16-year-old you that's like, hey, you get a month with porn star. Yeah. I mean, at that age, too, you got, like, you, I mean, it doesn't take long to get stuff going and finish in, but, you know, you can do it a lot of times. Yeah. And then you get there, and then you and then you find out it's a male porn star. <laughs> it's a tranny porn star. <laughs> It's like, uh, so, so are you like the, the manager, you know, is, is she going to be here soon? It's like, well, uh, I mean, I can kind of be a girl if you want. I can tuck it behind. <laughs> Who's the sexy stud? <laughs> I'm the sexy stud. <laughs> uh, but he said when he saw her, he liked everything. He said she had good sizes and so on. I'm looking forward to our meeting so much. Everything is boiling inside of me. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So I mean, like, put yourself in this. So, kid. so what does that mean? I I guess he's raring to go. I don't know. Yeah, I've never had anything boil inside of me for you know a while. <laughs> oh, oh, now it's sad. Wah, wah. I just I just can't imagine like sixteen year old me gets a month with a porn star. Like I just don't know how that would go at that age. I wouldn't even know what to do. And so, I mean, like, so put yourself in your 16-year-old shoes. Like, you know, you didn't even want anybody knowing you looked at porn. I mean, at least that's the kind of the, the, the age I grew up in is, you know, everybody did it. Everybody looked at it. You know, everybody did that stuff. But nobody but really no, talked about it. No. You know, it was like, you know, oh, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do that to myself. That's gross. That's gross. Plus, nobody plus in my age of, it, 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 in my 16-year-old age, like, the internet hadn't really like caught up. Like we're still running fifty six k modems. So then you're you're thinking like, you know, I'm gonna watch this. They they got porn videos on the internet now, and like eight hours later, you get you know a twenty second clip. Yeah. Uh, and that one time you click the dude on dude one, and you're like, ah, oh, damn it. Oh uh, well, let's start all over. It's either this or another eight hours of waiting. Whatever. Any <laughs> port in a storm. <laughs> Uh, but I mean, you think about this age, you know, like your parents and things like that. You always hid that stuff from them. you. Never told them what you're looking at. But so, like in this scenario, Richard, like you know, you've just been given the opportunity to spend a whole month with a porn star. You kind of probably have to tell your parents where you're going for a month. Yeah. And this kid, he he told his mom. He says, "I have told my mother, and she has taken it badly. But I think we'll sort it out." <laughs> Mom, don't be a cock block. Come on, mom. So is okay. And, and I'm, I'm what, what I guess what I'm wondering is in Russia is is he considered an adult? Because at this, because I mean I know age of consent and everything, but I guess I'm saying like, couldn't his mom be like, yeah, that's not happening? Uh, the article really doesn't say. I kind of assume that it probably is because age of consent is 16. I, I'm. I don't really know for so sure. So if the kid's like, hey, this is what I'm doing, and fuck you, mom, then the mom can't do shit about it. Yeah, I don't think she could stop him. I mean, I, I'd assume that probably in Russia, it's, it's like if he was 18 here. You know, if you were 18, living at, even if you're living at home, and you're like, well, I'm going to go spend a month in this hotel room with this, this porn star chick, your parents can't really say anything. They can kick you out of the house. Be like, all right, well, good luck finding a place to live afterwards. Yeah. Well, and also... I, I don't know. Maybe this is just me, but this is just my thinking. Okay. So obviously you're going to do, you know, th there, there's, there's going to be the sex, but like after the sex, then, I mean, then what? I don't know. So that's where it gets a little interesting with this. So, um, I think it depends on the porn star. Yeah. Like I, you know, if, if the, if she's like, you know, dumber than a box of rocks or if she's annoying as all fucking get out, then oh, that's a good point. She's like sitting in the hotel. It's like, oh my god, Glamour Girls is on again. Let's watch it. No, we'll do that later. Let's just watch this. 
Yeah. Oh my God, Fred. You're sitting. You're sitting there in this hotel room, and you know, after the sex, you know, she's like, "Hey, let's watch Vampire Diaries," and you're like, "Um." Or, or we could watch something good. And then she's like, Vampire Diaries is the best show on television. And then you're just like, you know what? I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I'm going to go to the pool. I'll be back in about, you know, 35 minutes. And uh, like, what if she can't stand you? Uh, it's, that'd be heartbreaking. Wouldn't it? Because then <laughs> you get friend zoned by a porn star. Well, I mean, not just that, but I mean, like she's for she's basically forced to be in this room with you. And I don't know about, I mean, this is just, I mean, I, I guess I have that type of personality, but I can't be around people that don't want to be around me. Yeah, that would be really awkward. Super fucking awkward. When I wonder, too, if like she's like, you know, because you think about it, it's probably some kind of reality porn site type thing that put this on. So, like, listen, yeah, you get to spend a month with her in this this place. But there's cameras and, like, 15 dudes all over, you know. Yeah. And if anything happens, it's all got to be on camera. Yeah. Oh, God, did they film it? Uh, I don't think it's actually happened yet. Um, so not going too far. So he, ta- so he told his mom, and they, this uh, website interviewed his mom, and she says, I am absolutely against it. Uh, <laughs> she said, he, he has got exams. He is studying. <laughs> So she doesn't care that, you know, he's going to be hooking up with a porn star. She's like, he's got school tomorrow. He's got school for that whole month. Is she going to pack his lunch? No, I'll pack his lunch. And and you see her off in the corner like, well, I got a nice box lunch for him, Mom. Don't worry. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> she's like, she's like, you don't know how he likes his bread. It's like, well, I was actually talking about my vagina, Mom. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what? <laughs> And then she faints. Uh, she's continued to be quoted as saying, this is not real at all. Even a week is too much. They should just give us 100,000 rubles instead. We'll be happy with it. <laughs> so the mom's like, yeah, fuck that. Let's just just give me the money. Yeah. And you know, as a 16-year-old kid, you're like, uh, yeah, mom, 100,000 rubles is not worth it. <laughs> you don't realize how awesome a month with a porn star would be. I will learn so much. <laughs> think of the stories I'll tell my kids. <laughs> you got to think about that too. So let's say, uh, so let's say this happens to you, Richard. Yes, let's. I mean, it's- let, <laughs> let me let me paint that mental picture in my head. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait for it. Wait, okay, almost. Uh, I'm painting the picture. I'm painting the picture, and I'm done painting the picture. <laughs> picture has been painted. But I mean, like that—that's a great story for about four, or six years while you're going through, you know, high school, going through college. Yeah, you're the dude that spent a month with a porn star. Yeah. But at some point, you know, you're gonna get married and tell your wife, like, you know, so before we do this, I need to tell you something. <laughs> I've I've slept with a porn star, and the first whatever. Shot that's it, not. He's not gonna tell. The mom's gonna be the yeah. one to bust it out. Like they're gonna be sitting down to family dinner, and she's like, and you know, and they, he brings he brings a girl. It'd be like, I want you to meet my mom. You know, I think that this relationship is really going somewhere, <laughs> and you know, I want you to meet my parents. And so brings the girl over for dinner, and they're sitting down having a nice meal. And you know, and he's you know, she's like, hey, this is you know, this is Vanessa. I think you know, I think that you know, you'll really like her. Oh, did he tell you about that month he spent with the porn star? <laughs> you should you should hear about all the things he'd done. I think he said like no hole was off limits. More carrots. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where are you going, Van- Vanessa? Vanessa! Ah, damn it, mom! Every time. <laughs> well, I told you, Pookie Bear. I didn't want you to go through with it. You have to live with the consequences. Don't worry, you can live with mom forever. <laughs> oh. Or you could go live with your whore. <laughs> I would, but she's blocked all my calls. <laughs> uh, so let's see. So she was continuing to say, uh, so it's such a prize. You know, how could they get such an idea for a 16-year-old boy? <laughs> see, so she's even saying, like, hey, like he's 16. Yeah. He doesn't know anything about all that. <laughs> he hasn't had health class yet. <laughs> She continued to say, I am shocked. I have not seen the girl, but my son must study. <laughs> He's in the corner <laughs> like, yeah, mom, I'm going to be doing lots of studying. 
<laughs> all up in that business. Mom. Oh no! Oh no! See, this this is what would happen. Like he comes home from school, and then mom's on the desktop, and he's like, "What are you doing, mom?" She's like, "Is this the one? Is this the one you're spending the month with?" <laughs> She prints it out. She's very flexible, son. <laughs> oh God, mom! Have you seen this one with the six dudes at one time? It's kind of, it's kind of weird. Do you think she'll like my? Do you think she'll like my dessert? I don't What's know. What's this Maybe video? Have her over for dinner. What's first. a buck cake? Why do <laughs> they spell it with a K? <laughs> no, mom, not that one. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll have to ask your dad if he wants one of those. You want a buck? You want a buck cake? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I think, I think me. I think if I, if sixteen year old me or if eighteen year old me had won this, I think I would be the one to be like, look, can we not publish this? Yeah. <laughs> can we keep this? Like, I'll do it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying <laughs> no. I mean, I'm not saying no at all. But could we maybe keep it quiet? Yeah, but now that would get us so much publicity. You'd just be like, okay, listen, this is what we're going to do. We're going to hang out for a month. I'm married, so I can't do anything. <laughs> and I know I know you You probably are like, you know, you hated doing this. You know, you're probably like, oh, my God, I'm going to get some pervy dude that's going to want to sleep with me you know, for 30 straight days. But, no, listen, we'll stay in this nice hotel. I'll bring my wife. You know, we'll just watch some TV. You know, we'll eat some good food. We'll eat out. No, no, we won't. I'm sorry. Wrong choice of words. Wrong uh... choice of words. We'll eat out. We'll eat take out. Take out, yes. Oof. We'll order in. Listen, I'm not going to bang you. I'd not like to. Not pizza. Not pizza and <laughs> with no, with, not with sausage. Because, I mean, you know, it can get misconstrued. I'm sure this is going to get out there. People are going to come like, oh, I'll deliver a pizza. I probably won't have the money to pay him, and then <laughs> the whole thing will happen. So what we're going to do is, you know, this is just publicity. So I have a podcast. I, and she's like, what's a podcast? Like, damn it. I'll, every time. <laughs> so what, we, what we're going to do with this is, you know, when they publish this, when it goes viral, what you're going to say is like, well, all he wanted to do for 30 days is listen to podcasts. And he cried after every single one. <laughs> and and then that's good. You know, we'll watch movies. We'll eat some good food. You know, you and my wife, you can give my wife some advice. How about that? We'll We'll go with that. Yeah, just 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 talk it out. Talk it out. Wait, why are you guys touching? Oh god. Oh. Hey, guys. Guys, my car doesn't work. My car doesn't <laughs> my Are you guys moaning in there? What's going on in there? I feel like I'm missing out. You open the door, the hair is all messed up. Like what yeah. happened? Uh, there was a fire. Huh. I don't smell any smoke. They burned our clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> We had to, uh, we stopped, dropped, and rolled, but uh, it it just it burnt singed our clothes. <laughs> we did it like this, and they start rolling over on top of each other. Like, oh, hey, will you go outside and check check the uh, the fire extinguisher? Yeah, sure. You walk yeah, out. No problem. Shots. Click. Hey guys. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, I think I'm locked out. My card's not working. Hey, I'll just I'll just go get some food. Okay, you guys. Let me in, please. You guys just relax. All right, you know, do whatever you do. I saw you tickle fighters. You. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I brought Chinese checkers. <laughs> this has been the longest 30 days of my life out here eating all this food by myself. It sounds like they've got like a stomach issue. They keep moaning and groaning in there. It's weird. I mean, okay. So, I mean, obviously now if, if let's say I won something like that now, I'd be like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to use this. Can we give it to like, you know, like a make a wish kid or something like <laughs> yeah. that? Like that would be me now. Okay, but you, let's say 16-year-old you or 18-year-old you, what would 18-year-old you do in that situation? Well, I think 18-year-old me would be like, oh, my God, this is the greatest thing ever. But then I would realize <laughs> that people would know about it, and I'd get super embarrassed. Yeah. See, that's the thing. I'm just like, oh, then everyone, everyone's going to know. It's like, yeah, that's that's the guy that banged the – and, and, and it, it, they'd probably build it up you know, bigger than what it was. Yeah, because you because you know, eighteen year old like you'd have sex, sure, and like you know, it'd be what it is, like okay, but you're that's a whole month. Yeah, because you still have to go to work or go to school or do whatever you have to do. She's probably still got to go to work. <laughs> so she, oh God, like eighteen year old you. This is before the age of Netflix. Could you imagine? So like, let's say she still has to work, 
You know, so she goes to work the day, and you guys meet back at the hotel that night. And you're like, so. Yeah, and then she's like, I'm kind of tired. Yeah. Well, no, so you're like, so, you know, how was your day? She's like, well, I had to do, you know, a six-dude gangbang. You know, it was it was pretty rough, but I guess. Monster cocks. I mean, monster yeah, oh cocks. I mean, like, yours times, like, I mean, yours is like a, yours is small, to be honest. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I hate to be so blunt, but these dudes' dicks are just huge. But I, I I'd hate to be blunt, but I'm going to be. <laughs> I mean, I can I can go clean up and we can do this if you want. I'm not gonna feel anything. I can already tell. Um, yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm just telling you right now. I am numb from the uterus <laughs> down. So do what whatever it is you got to do. I mean, but you know, you've heard the toothpick into a cave. That's pretty much what's gonna happen here. I'm sorry. Yeah. Listen, it's a hot dog down the hallway. <laughs> down. But I guess she said so. Um, she's in favor of this meeting, but she says 16 is it's a good age to be independent. Um, <laughs> and she she uh, refused to rule out the idea of having sex with a young guy. So because uh, he's above the legal age of consent, so she hasn't thrown it out. She says you know it may happen, but she says it's it's a usual thing when inexperienced boys are looking for more experienced girlfriends. And she says, I don't know. At least we'll be friends. I like him in the photos. These guys haven't even met yet. They've just seen photos of each other. <laughs> oh, so this is this is the porn star talking. Yeah, this is the porn star talking. She's she's like, oh, he looks nice in his picture. So what's funny is, you know, he probably, like, wins this thing. He's like, okay, I'm going to see who, uh, who this chick is. You know, he Googles it and sees, like, all kinds of shit. <laughs> she googles him and she's like well i don't know is it this 40 year old guy this this guy i i don't know who it is i'm sure he's gonna be a pervert either way <laughs> he's, it's just a facebook photo of him like playing D with his friends yeah. he's wearing a t-shirt with a millennium falcon <laughs> on it oh he's he's one of those guys all right well at least at least it won't take very long <laughs> it's not like i'll feel it <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Tom from the Say What Podcast, and I would love it if you'd swing over to SayWhatPodcast.com to check us out as soon as you're done listening to this show. We handpick real news articles to poke fun at every week, like a lady from Florida attacking her boyfriend with a ceramic squirrel, or kids rubbing chapstick in their eyes to get high, or the guy who got arrested for repeatedly having sex with an inflatable pool shark. Yeah, I think you get the point. So tune into the Say What Podcast every Friday on iTunes, Stitcher, and at SayWhatPodcast.com. It's a little sad, but it's one of those things that, like, you kind of hope for the best, you know? Maybe they'll find true love. Maybe. It'll be like Beauty and the Beast. Which one's Beast in this situation? Well, I would say that... The the porn star would be the beast, right? Oh, okay, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because the you know, I don't know why, but it just seems like the porn star would be the beast. But you know, like they're locked away, and and they you know they're not you know fans of each other, and then they kind of grow to fondness. <laughs> it's a it's a rom com in the making. Oh my god, it would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> you could totally make a movie out of that. Oh yeah, definitely a little rated R rom com. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that. Oh, see, uh, totally. See, because it would start out with the whole like you know they're forced together. He wins this contest, and she's you know oh, kind of like yeah, oh yeah. whatever. And then you know, and she's all like gruff and like oh god, it's just you know some dude and you know whatever. And then you know they have sex, and she's all disgusted with him because no like, no oh, they don't even have sex. Guy. <gasps> they yeah, don't. so so they show up and she's like, "Yeah, you just you're just here for my body, aren't you? You just want my body." Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's all like disgusted with him, like, "Oh, yeah. you fucking perv." He's like, "No, you know, after 30 days if you want to make love to me, I don't I don't fuck. I don't I don't do that. I make love. I make love." <laughs> <laughs> He's got that creepy like eye with the camera yeah, look. No, he no, see see. Oh, we got to bring in close. <laughs> He's like, we'll "If after 30 close. days." He's like, "After 30 days, we're not going to fuck." <laughs> We're not gonna fuck. We're gonna make attention, love. attention, listeners. <laughs> this is Richard's creepy voice. Please we're, be prepared for gonna, Richard's we're, creepy voice. We're, we're gonna make love. We're gonna make <laughs> sweet, sweet love. And so yeah, so thirty days. He's like, I just want to get to know the real you. <laughs> I don't want to know the cum guzzling you. I want to know the real you. No, 
See, so like, so, so they're together and they're, you know, they're playing, they're playing tiddlywinks or, or whatever the fuck they're, you know, they're doing. Like she's reading a book and, you know, he's, you know, watch TV or something like that. But they eventually start to talk and like, then they start to like each other. Yeah. So, okay. So, yeah. So they, they, they fall in love on day 30. Exactly. They fall in love. But then. The man knows, yeah. So her porn manager like comes and is like, "Listen, it's time for you to go back and suck some dick." And, he, <laughs> and so he tears her away. He's like, "No, you got to go back on set. Like this is done. The competition's over. You don't need to be with this loser anymore." And you see the <laughs> you see the hotel door starting to shut, and you see our our main character just have like one tear. Like no, not even down. that. No, no. So he's on one end of the hotel door with his hand on it, and then she has her hand on the other side of the hotel door. And intro the musical and come the musical interlude. Well, I imagine like our climax, pun intended, ah! of, <laughs> of this movie is you know, she's back on set, you know, because they have to have some kind of fight, right? So she uh, you know, she comes back to the hotel. And she's like, listen, this is my job. It's what I have to do. He's like, listen, I can't be with a girl that doesn't want to just be with me. Like, yeah, you, you just go yeah, suck. Exactly. You suck all those dicks. You, you can, you're never going to suck mine. Exactly. Yeah. And so they leave. That's the breakup part. And, you know, you my body's pure. <laughs> I don't want your tainted flesh. <laughs> she's in the dressing room, getting her makeup on, getting all ready, putting on her outfit. He's at home playing video games, crying. Yeah, see, it's cutting between up. the two of them, and they're playing something. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna say Coldplay, like Probably. Coldplay's on. <laughs> and so he's, you know, his mom comes in with a, a grilled cheese sandwich with the the crust all cut off, and he <laughs> takes a bite, and he's like, oh. And then you know she takes a bite of a grilled cheese too, because somewhere in this movie they both realize that they both like grilled cheese with the crust cut off. Oh, okay, no, no, see, no, okay. Here's what you're gonna do. Everything you just said, just keep saying it, and then I'll put the musical interlude behind it because I just thought of the perfect song. Okay, so go ahead. Okay, so she's she's back at the the, the porn place, the studio. Pepper. She's putting on her makeup. You know, he's at home playing video games. You know, he's crying a little Paradise. bit. Mom Paradise. comes up with a grilled cheese with the crust cut off. She's eating her grilled oh. cheese with the crust cut off. <laughs> They both take a bite and then they realize, you know, because in this movie they realize that both of the, each other love grilled cheese with the crust cut off, and and that's when he drops the controller, runs out the door, and his mom like runs out waving because his mom's gonna be like, here, here, take this, take this umbrella because it's raining because you guys are gonna kiss out in the rain, and he comes running, he's doing this like running, and she's like getting, you know, getting closer and closer to getting on set. You know, they get like, all right, quiet on the set. We're about ready to film the, the cum Pepper, shot scene. Pepper, so he's like, all right, get close up on her face. And it's starting in, you know, the guy's about ready to pull his pants down. He busts through the door. He's Pepper, soaking wet. And he's like, no, no, Heather. It's me. I'm the one you should be with. Whoa. <laughs> and she just tore, tears away. And she runs up to the guy and they start making out. And the, the director, like, the, this director that's on set right now, he's a genius. He's like, wait, like, real stuff is in right now. Shoot that shit. Something's going to happen. <laughs> and then they have sex. That's, that's how this movie ends. They have sex. And it's like a million hit, you know, online Oh, it's video. like popular. It, like, goes viral? Yeah. Because it's, it's the most true romantic oh. sexual experience ever caught on film. Oh, my God. It's like Zach and Miri make a porno. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's amazing. And then and then what happens is, you know, as as they're as they're pulling away from the money shot, they just say like I love you and she says I love you back. And and, and all the porn stars with their pants off are just crying yeah. and clapping. Slow clapping. They're slow clapping <laughs> like one of them starts clapping. Like two of them are in mid sex scene and they stop and they stare. <laughs> he pulls out and starts clapping on her butt. <laughs> that's amazing. I would watch that movie. <laughs> I would so watch the shit out of that movie. In five-minute chunks by yourself. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. What's a good title for that movie? Um, Lo Love Comes First. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> well oh, deserved. <laughs> I always feel like I'm trying to set you up for those, but then like mid-sentence, I'm like, oh God, I have it. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to let him talk. 
Coming this summer, a tale of two crossed lovers. One is in the porn industry. The other lives in his mom's basement <laughs> and plays video games all day. Whatever will they... But somehow, love finds a way. Coming this summer, love comes first. <laughs> you know, I always thought the money shot was the most important thing, but you've money shot my heart. <laughs> <laughs> You get Celine Dion to do that soundtrack. Oh, yeah. It's a $100 million movie. Yeah. Oh, it'd be amazing. You get Jennifer Lawrence to star in that. Yeah. Yeah. You've got a, a, you've probably got a billion dollar movie if you get her in there. Everybody's watching the shit out of it. (laughs) What's funny is you make it like PG 13, so you don't even show any boobs or anything. (laughs) Bunch of creepy dudes go in to pay the money. It's like, this is a ripoff. They're with their girlfriends. They're like, I don't know. I think it was beautiful. Oh, so good. See, this is this is this is why we need to make films. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Away. We're copywriting that. Copywriting that right now. Yeah. Love comes first. Copyright language of bromance. Richard and Sean. I wonder if you tried to pitch that. How that would work? You're like, all right. So I got an idea for a movie. Well, see, you'd have to get like an actual porn star. You know what I mean? No, like, you get like a Scarlett Johansson, Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, I mean, yeah. you don't have to show anything. Maybe show, maybe, okay, so well, you get no, to where uh, there's... Uh, ScarJo's shown her tits in movies. Yeah, see, it's not a big deal. You just get one of them, pay them enough money to show their boobs, you know? And I mean, like, three-fourths of this movie's clean. It's just like a quarter of it with words and, you know, a little bit of a porn set scene, you know? Yeah. It's, it's doable. ha <laughs> because what's the worst i mean you say money shot you know you spell love comes first you don't spell it the dirty way (laughs) and you you put that shit out on valentine's day oh god yes make it yeah mints itself it mints itself in a world where uh 50 shades of gray can exist love comes first can exist yeah it can hashtag love comes first let's make this shit (laughs) I just imagine, like, I mean, you could play the whole idea of, <laughs> I'm going to write this movie. It's going to happen. Because, <laughs> you know, you, you have the whole thing. It's, it's like a, a 28, 30-year-old guy living at home with his mom. And you make it kind of sad. Like, he lives with his mom because she has anxiety issues or something like that. Like, he's not a complete loser. You know, he lives with her because he's, he's doing it for the benefit of her. Oh, and you can find out that, like, her mom and his dad, like, they, they uh, you know, they had some kind of, like, uh love experience with porn <laughs> what are you playing it's cold play <laughs> yeah so i mean you, you have him in the basement all he plays i knew video was the games. chorus so i kept repeating the chorus over and over oh and you can have the protagonist ex-girlfriend who left him because uh he loved his mom too much yeah you know, and, and she sees the air of her way, so she tries to win him back. And Oh, and she's like this big overbearing mother? Yeah. No, the mom, no, it's not, the mom's like, uh, like kind of ill, like she's just got some issues, and that's why he lives with her. Oh. But he has an ex-girlfriend that's like, listen, I don't want to be with a mama's boy. I don't want to be so with a guy. So he's kind of a perv with a heart of gold? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh. That's going to be the tagline. <laughs> Or maybe that's the sequel. Love comes first. The perv with a heart of gold. Perv with a heart of gold. But yeah, so, you know, she sees the air of his ways when she sees that she's so happy with this porn star. Like, so they're out eating dinner, you know, in this 30 days that they get to be together. And, you know, they're having a good time. Like, they again, they haven't had sex this whole time. And his ex-girlfriend walks by. He's like, oh, I see her with that whore and, like, pour some kind of drink on her. Oh, and they, like, just leaps to her defense. Yeah. It's like, she's less of a whore than you ever were. Oh, at least she didn't cheat on me. Yes, yes. (laughs) She only took six dicks for money. Not for free like you, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) And then she's all enamored. Like, oh, wow. Maybe this perv does have a heart of gold. That's what she's going to say. He defended my honor. And so, yeah, so, okay. I mean, we're bounce, We're kind of bouncing all over in this flick, but, you know, this is the creative process. <laughs> all right, we're spitballing. We're spitballing. Yeah. <laughs> so when she goes back to the, uh, to the porn set, you know, after they have their fight, and, like, it's like, oh, okay, you know, third act situation. 
So she's uh she's getting her makeup done and she's sitting there talking to somebody and she's like going over like how much she loves this guy and how much she cares. Oh, and the makeup girl is like the wise old one. No, yeah, it's a wise old tranny. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, you know, and she got like a bad cigarette. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, back in the 60s. Always talks like that and like puts yeah. a finger up in the air. Like John Leguizamo and uh, and oh, Chu Wong Fu. That's who we're casting, John Leguizamo. Oh. That's who's going to do it. You know, honey, like I, there was a guy back in the day that I loved. And, you know, we uh, we had a few good times. And, you know, it was the 60s. So, you know, being with a being with a chick with a dick was just not acceptable. We couldn't get married like nowadays. <laughs> Honey, just follow your heart. Follow your heart. Remember, and she put, John Lugosamo <laughs> puts her hand on hers. And is like, remember, honey, love always, love comes first. How the hell did we just come up with that movie? <laughs> Uh, Perfect. I love ba- it. And then you could even put based on a true story. Yeah, kind yeah, of. Could. Uh, so, uh, so we have John Leguizamo is the uh, the tranny. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence is Scarlett Johansson is the lead. Um, so who's the uh, who's the who's the guy you would cast Ooh. in that? I'm thinking um, the dude from um, uh, oh, what's his name? Forgetting Sarah Marshall. He's in that movie. Oh, Jason Siegel. Yeah, I think you could cast Jason Siegel in that part. Um, I think he I seems want- kind of he seems kind of big. I'm thinking of somebody like smaller in stature. Mm. Oh, oh, this is gonna oh, this is gonna drive me crazy. <gasps> Jesse Eisenberg. Uh yeah, I could see that. Or what about the guy who was with Seth Rogen in uh um the This is the End? What's his name? Uh Michael Sarah. No, uh, Jay Burrell, Barrel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. I think that, that's the guy you cast, yeah. Yes. And you could have the mom be, um, oh, man, you know, if you had the mom as uh, your uh, famed uh, Golden Girls lady. Uh, Betty White? Betty oh, White. Betty White. Yeah, because, you know, Betty White's, you know, the kind of older lady. You know, he's, he's staying with her because, you know, she was with, she might be too old. Maybe she's too old. Maybe he lives with his grandma. You know, he lives with his grandma because she needs a little bit of help. And, you know, like his parents have passed away. So he's, you know, he's trying to take care of his grandma. Grandma, I love you. Oh, man, we're making this fucking movie. So, okay, so who's going to play grandma, the... Grandma, I love you. And then <laughs> and then she's like, honey, go, go, go be with you. Oh, I'm trying to think of another name for a porn. I'm trying to think of another name for a porn star. Uh, uh. Go be with your cam girl. Yeah. Go be with your girl that, you know, is all what was I gonna, who goes do, who does those stories. Go be with her. And you could have Emma Watson as the protagonist ex-girlfriend. I saw her in that buck cake video. <laughs> Looks so messy. <laughs> it was a it was a how to. I didn't really understand it. I'm like, you can't make a cake that way. Grandma, number one, it's bukkake. And number two, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Well, oh my God, with Betty White talking about that. Oh, yeah, that's a billion dollar movie. People will go see that movie just to hear Betty White say Bukaki. Yeah. You have her like, so yeah, so when you're doing the, the trailer, you have her like, I was watching one of these and I don't know, somehow show like a Chinese like Bukaki sound <laughs> videos online and they're a little shoo, messy. Shoo. I, I, heard, I heard your new girlfriend was involved in some Bukaki, so I thought I'd make her a Bukaki cake. <laughs> I don't think it's a cake, dear. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and you can have like the interaction. So yeah, so when he's eating his cheese sandwich down there in the, the basement, he's playing video games after Grandma Betty White comes down. She sits down and tells him a tale about how her and her grandpa, or her and her uh, her husband, which is his grandpa, you know they you know they had like a strong love because maybe that's the overarching story is that he's trying to find a love as strong as uh, Grandma Betty White's and his grandpa's. And she reveals the history of like, you know, back in the 30s and 40s, your grandpa and I, you know, we shot some adult films. No, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be the 30s or 40s. It'd be the 60s. Like she's from the 60s. So, OK, so 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 then so then he comes to find out that this love that he's based his entire relationship on, like they just like met each other and fucked at a concert at Woodstock. Uh, yes. 1969 is when they met. They had sex at Woodstock. 
and let's say and it was filmed. They filmed <gasps> it because they're like, hey, I needed I needed bus money to get back home. Yeah, they play like a documentary foot like documentary footage. Yes. <gasps> So that yeah, that's where he sees it because he's like doing research at the end or something, or maybe she tells him about it. And then he looks it up. Yeah, and it's like he sees the love in their eyes after they finish the video. Plus, then you get to show old pictures of Betty White because, mm. ooh yeah, mm. Betty White back in the day was ooh. not too bad looking, not too shabby, perfect. Ah, uh, and yeah, then you got the whole we have the old end scene already made up. Yeah. Oh man. And so, yeah, and you could maybe cap it off at the end as it's these two telling their their grandkids the story of how they met. Yeah. And then they start to put in the video and then. Yeah. No, you uh, you book you bookend it. So the beginning is them starting to tell the story because their grandkids come up and like, hey, grandma and grandpa, we we saw that we found this video online and these two people look an awful lot like you. Cue the story, <gasps> and the end, the bookend is them being like, and that's how I, how your grandmother and I met. And it's just the kids, like, crying and throwing up. <laughs> I, that's, I don't know. I feel like we just made a movie. We took, you know what we did? We took, we, we took our, we, we grabbed our audience, and we took them on a visual journey. <laughs> uh, I'm still trying to figure out if I'd want Jennifer Lawrence or Scarlett Johansson to play the lead in that. I kind of feel like Scarlett Johansson. I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not a big uh not a big J Law fan. You're the one that watched the Hunger Games. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I probably have to Just go with Scarlett that out Johansson because she's kind of got the because uh, J Law is probably a little too like normal, like she's too common girl type situation. But at least with Scarlett Johansson, like you could, she would give the attitude, like, "Listen, I'm I'm done with you. This is my life." This is what I do for a living. If you can't yeah. li- if you can't be with that, I'm sorry. But then she has like that heart of gold where she likes listen. It's like I, sh- I I pushed you away because I cared so much in the rain with with cold play. Yeah, shit writes I, itself. It does really. I mean, at worst, it's a it's a Netflix movie. I mean, or a, or you can make it a Skinamax movie. It'd work too. Yeah, we we could pitch this to so many people. We could pitch it to actual. Uh, you know, studios, or we could just go to porn studios and be like, listen, we got this movie. It's got kind of the full spectrum. It's got granny porn. It's got, you know, Bukaki porn. It kind of covers all the spectrums. <laughs> this dude, the guy's like, you had me a granny porn. <laughs> Do you think we can get Betty White for this? <laughs> ah, maybe. We'll see. We've reached out to her before. And then Betty White calls. She's like, granny porn? Sold. <laughs> As long as it's one of those uh, buck cake films, I'm I'm all about that. <laughs> I've only got so many years left. I got to knock that off my bucket list. <laughs> Don't we all? You know what's bad is we're gonna do this, and when we release this video, something's gonna happen to Betty White, and we're gonna feel like total jerks. Uh, yeah. Don't jinx it. God. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> I love you, Betty White. We all do. Lady goes strong. Yeah, she looks. I mean, she like I said a while back, she was in some uh, NFL playoff uh, videos, and she looked like she was in still pretty good shape. They're yeah. kind of helping around a little bit, but she's like what ninety six. Uh, yeah, that sounds right. Ninety. She's in her nineties. Well, who was? I can't think of her age off the top of my head. Who was the grandma and grandma's boy? It wasn't her. Uh, I can't think of the name. She played uh, Ray's mom, and uh, everybody loves Raymond. Gotcha. Well, there's the alternative. You could always cast her too. I think she'd she'd fill the spot pretty well. Is she still alive? Uh, I don't know. Let me look. I know. I know his the uh, his dad died. Oh, really? Yeah, he died a year or better ago, a couple of years ago. I didn't realize that. Because he was awesome. His 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 breakthrough role for me, Young Frankenstein. Oh, I didn't know Dor- she, Doris Roberts is from St. Louis, Missouri. Doris Roberts, that's it. Uh, IMDb makes it look like she's still alive. That's nice, dear. It's cold when you're dead. <laughs> uh, uh, she's 90 years old and she's still alive, so we gotta hurry up and get this movie made, Rich. Yeah. The clock is literally ticking. <laughs> There's only so many old people left in this world <laughs> that would fit this role perfectly. I didn't realize Grandma Boy is from like 2006. Oof. Really? Yeah. That was a decent movie, though. Yeah, it was a good flick. I mean, you could always maybe have Nick Swartzen in there somewhere. Like, he could play like the the guy's buddy. I feel you know? like you need Betty White, though. 
I feel like Betty White would like sell tickets. Oh yeah. I mean, you put Betty White porn, you know, they any, put petitions like, to get her on Saturday Night Live. She's never been on Saturday Night Live? No, they petitioned to get her on and she and she got on. Oh, okay. I don't remember seeing that one, but yeah, that seems like she's she's fit for that. I think that was like last year. Somebody put out a petition to the to get her onto Saturday Night Live, and I don't remember how many signatures it got, but it got a fuck ton of signatures, and so she was on, and so they they had her as the the host one one week, and she crushed it. Yeah, she's such a good. I mean, yeah, she's just awesome. Favorite sketch out of the whole out of the whole episode, uh, you know the the Alec Baldwin thing with the sweaty balls with the two yeah. radio hosts. Uh-huh. They did they did one with her, and she had muffins. So she's like, would you like to try my muffin? <laughs> and then they're like, oh, your muffin's so moist. <laughs> and then one, she's like, I taste a hint of cherries. Is there cherries in there? And she's like, no, dear. My muffin hasn't had a cherry, ha- hasn't had cherries since 1939. <laughs> and I'm yeah. like, genius. Yeah. Genius. She would. Oh, yeah. She would kill that. I mean, she would kill the love comes first grandma scenes. <laughs> Oh, she's even got a documentary called Betty White Goes Wild. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Yep. That's what I'm saying. She fucking nails this shit. I'm trying to think. So, I mean, we've got the, uh, yeah. So, I guess, I mean, to wrap this puppy up, unless you have anything else to no. add to it. No, no. I, I feel like, I feel like we've, 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 we've flown this bird to, we've, we've taken it to heights. And honestly, I'm really, I'm honestly kind of surprised because I remember you were saying, like, hey, I got this kind of news story. Like, we can talk about it for a bit. If you want. And I'm like, okay. And then down the rabbit hole we went. <laughs> we talk about that story for 30 minutes. And then we make a movie in the last 30. Yeah, we did. Uh, I still want to figure out how our pitch is going to be to like a studio. You know, I mean, I would imagine that if you say Betty White porn, like they're like, you know, we've never heard that before. In all yeah. the years we've done this, we've never heard that. How we're much like, money do you need? Look, let me, let me... We're, Let's like if you want to elevator pitch this movie, all you got to say is, listen, we we're talking about doing a romantic comedy that involves porn, Betty White and. uh, Yeah. OK, so no, you sell it with. OK, so we got porn, Betty White, buck cake. <laughs> love comes. F- love comes first. Tell me you don't want to buy that movie. Like, wait, are you going to call it Love Comes First? Fucking right we are. Yeah, that's right we are. That is, how are you going to spell it? Well, we're going to spell it C-O-M-E, right? I mean, we got to try to make this, you Yeah, know, we're R. spelling it C-O-M-E-S. Like, how else are we going to get people in on Valentine's Day? People went to go see Deadpool on Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, that's, and that's where you get them. So they ask you that. They're like, so how are you going to spell that? And he's like, C-O-M-E-S. So, you know, we got to release this on Valentine's Day. They smack themselves on the head. They're like, Valentine's Day? Genius. <laughs> Genius. How much do you need? Make this movie. Nailed it. Oh shit. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna listen to this podcast over and over and over until I get this movie wrote. <laughs> so I'm trying to think, is there anything else you could see getting fit into that movie? Um so it starts out with he wins the contest, he goes and you know, it, and you know, he's with the porn star. And they, you know, they chit chat and they start to get to know each other. He defends her honor. She becomes enamored with him. The conversations become a lot more friendly. And then, you know, the month, the contest ends. You know, he's like, you know, the manager's like, you know, back to your back to your real life. You don't have to deal with this fucking loser anymore. And then, yeah, you got the whole scene with John Luizamo with, you know, he's the transvestite, you know, kind of talking to her about like, listen, you know, you got to you got to follow your heart because love comes first. And you have the whole scene of them, you know, falling in love at the studio with everybody half naked clapping. Dicks hanging out and all. Yeah. Oh, you have like one or two quick shots of some dicks. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to make it R. Make it a little risky. Yeah. Everybody's standing around and like, you know, there's I, I think there's something funny about a naked guy with a swinging cock like wiping his yeah. eyes because he's crying <laughs> he's wearing like a ymca one of their uh, police outfits <laughs> like straight like tight bondage <laughs> assless chaps yeah. you know what and and to tie this whole thing around richard i just came up with this you know what we can do we can have you in your award-winning dr frankenfurter outfit on the corner clapping with <sighs> makeup and all oh 
brought it back around. <laughs> oh, I love it. I feel it. like we uh, haven't done that for a bit, We, but we did. We came we did. full circle. Uh, and, you know, again, people, if you think we actually kind of, like, you know, set this stuff up ahead of time, we don't. No. It, it's all natural. No. All I think, I, natural. Honestly, at this point, I think I think people need people probably figure pro- have probably figured out that they're like, you know, these guys have absolutely no plan whatsoever when they get onto a <laughs> microphone. Like that's obvious from what we're seeing. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I guess uh, I guess to, you know we've brought it back around. Do you want to throw out any uh, Richard's closing thoughts? You know what? Porn stars are people too, and I think that porn stars are cap. They're you know what? They're capable of a lot of things. They they show us the best and worst of humanity. But one thing that I think that they have the capacity for more than anything, and that's love. <laughs> so yeah, that's 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 how I'm, that's how I'm landing this bird. Ah, oh, brought a little tear to my eye, man. Uh, <laughs> all right, well I'll do a little bit of housekeeping. Housekeeping. Want to be fluff pillow? <laughs> want to be want to be joke you off? All right, we'll visit our website. We're at languageofbromance.com. Follow us on Twitter. We're at languageofbro. Email us at eatthebeaver at languageofbromance.com. Like us all on Facebook and check us out on the Pocket Cast. It's an iOS, Android, and Windows phone app. And subscribe and leave a review on iTunes and Stitcher. And don't forget to check us out on the Pod Bros Network. The sexiest podcast site on the internet. Because at the Pod Bros Network, love comes first. <laughs> And if you're in the need for some headbuds, listen to you know all your pornographic you know movies online. Go to tweakedaudio.com. Use the promo code LB Army. Get thirty three percent off. Yes, let's do this. Let's end it. All right. Let's <laughs> let's let's tie this puppy up with a money shot. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> all right. Was well, there anything else before I close her out? No. Just end it. Money <laughs> shot it. All right, well, that's all the bromance we have for this show. I'm Sean. And I'm Richard. And I say we eat the beaver. Oh, see, because they, they do that in the, in, the, in the movie. Yeah, we'll allude to it. We won't show it, though, because we don't want to be NC-17. Just radar. No. Remember, everybody, hashtag, love comes first, yes. <laughs> love comes first. <laughs> <laughs>